now. You've seen the read lock, the write lock, and you've seen an exclusive lock. You haven't seen the access lock yet. It's different. It's the only one that's different. You see, Teradata automatically puts a read lock for selects, a write lock for inserts, updates, and deletes, and a modify user or alter table. They put an exclusive lock, like a bridge being out in the road. They go, stop, this is major surgery. Nobody gets in here. But the access lock is the one the user puts on a table or SQL that says, I want an access lock, select everything from this table, and that is a modifier, an SQL modifier that says, listen, if people are out there doing updates, I know I'm told to wait, I want to read it anyway. That's the idea behind an access lock. Now, an access lock is compatible with a read lock, a write lock, or another access lock. The only thing it's not compatible with is an exclusive lock. So again, it's a little bit like going to a, a road where the bridge is out. They go, we're fixing that. Well, can I just go over it real quick? No, the bridge is out. Listen, you're going to have to come back in a month. That's kind of major surgery. So in this case, we can see we're once again in line for the employee table. There's a write lock. Somebody is doing a massive update. The read locks are going to have to wait, but the access lock moves right up and says, I'm going to read while this is being updated. Now, this is called a dirty read or a read without integrity because they say, listen, I don't know if you're going to get your report with the latest information. It's being updated right now. And you go, I don't care. In data warehouse, you usually don't. We might have a billion rows in a table. They go, give me the average order. Listen, you go out and run this. Oh, you may not have all the updated information on a billion orders. Who cares? I want to get a general sense for what orders are generally, and I don't need it to be exact. And that's why you put in an access lock. This is really a very great strategy for data warehouse so people just don't have to wait that often. If you're looking to make decisions and you want to know what the best information you have, you use an access lock and you will not wait. In your query, all you have to do is say locking table for access and then you've got your select statement and it says I will put an access lock on this. You can even do this locking row for access and if it gets the opportunity it'll say we're just going to lock at the row level and put an access lock on this but if they can't they'll still put an access lock at the table level. Both of these statements could save you an enormous amount of time. People very seldom actually access the table. They usually access the view that accesses the table so that certain columns can be secured or even certain rows can be secured. But the biggest reason is in almost every view they've got this statement, locking row for access so users behind the scenes don't even know it but they're never waiting on any inserts, updates, or deletes. And that keeps kind of like people from not having to put their brakes on on the highway and everything runs smoothly.